All right, so first step is to scan your object of choice with whatever app you prefer. I use Polycam on photo mode using my iPhone SE. My tips for scanning are to do it in the shade or on a cloudy day so the lighting is diffused and there are no shadows. Make sure to move slowly and keep the camera in focus while making a couple passes below and above the object, making the subject take up as much of the frame as possible. If you want all sides of an object, you can use object masking mode. I've linked a video on that technique below. A crucial part of doing any digital work is keeping your files in order. Make sure you have a folder for each object you plan on creating with a folder for the old textures and new ones. The first thing I do once in Blender is select all the vertices and press M to merge from distance, deleting all vertices that are on top of each other. Check if the normal provided with the mesh or the color plugged into a bump node looks better and set that up as the normal. The next step is to create your target object, whether through remeshing your original or using primitive shapes to create a low poly version. I use quad remesher, but free options are instant meshes and Blender's voxel remesh. Once you get your new mesh, smart project the UVs, pack them if you want, and replace this material with a new one. Make sure your original and target object are both at the same position, then bake from the old one to the new one. You can use Blender's baking function, but if you have $18, I highly recommend Simple Bake. It does a much better job in every department. I start with max cage extrusion between 0 and 0.2 and ray distance at 0. Make sure to first bake to a 1k map to make sure those settings are correct. If the bake has artifacts, just tweak those two settings until you get the best result. Once the 1k bake is all set, you can bake in 4k. I bake from 4k to 1k to do some upscaling magic. This is optional. Upscale is a great and free upscaling software. This is a comparison between baking in 4K versus baking in 1K and upscaling. But we're not done here. If you really want the object to be perfect, go into Photoshop and touch up the color map. What I do is take out specular highlights, even the lighting out, and repair any bad spots. Boom, we now have a beautiful pomegranate and now we can upload it to Sketchfab for the world to see. Sketchfab has the best in-browser 3D viewer and I like sharing my scans there for anyone to use. By the way, I have more than 100 repaired scans on my profile. Go check them out and use them in your own projects. Let me know if this tutorial was helpful and send me what you make.